Hello everybody and welcome back to the EAFC Gillingham Youth Academy Challenge and it is quite the episode today. We are taking on Leicester City who sit top five points ahead of us. So win today's game, two points will be the difference. And then the second game of today's episode is, well, should, should be a little bit easier. It's against Watford. So if we have a look at the league today, Watford are down in ninth at 32 points, but yet it is us, Leicester and Fulham at the top of the table. At the moment, we're in the automatic promotion spot. As I said, two points would be the difference if we managed to get a result against Leicester. Uh, results have been pretty good overall, not too much to, uh, to really complain about, uh, we have beaten Sunderland 3-1, Drew of Fulham 1-1. Uh, before that, we beat Southampton 3-1, beat West Brom 3-1, beat Ipswich 2-0. And in the last episode, we had that magnificent 3-3 draw with Burnley, which was quite the game, to be honest. Everybody's playing well, but we do have Dragutan Oman suspended for this game. A red card against Sunderland, absolutely hacking someone down from behind. I don't know what I was thinking, but... Uh, yeah, it wasn't my finest moment, to be honest. But uh, Zhao will be coming on to replace him. James is now back from injury. This is his first game back from injury. So he'll be having a place on the bench. And Blanco has to step up as our sort of third choice striker. But I'm not too worried about that. Olsen, Coleman, James, Blanco, Zarins, Dragovic and Lungo on the bench. And um, we're going to have McNeil, Schneider, Jovanovic, Murphy, Cusick, Rivero, Pinto, Marquez, Makedo. Zhao and Fujiwara starting up front in this one. So let's crack on into the game. We'll take on Leicester City. Here we are then at Priestfield as position one. Leicester take on position two, Gillingham. And it's going to be a very interesting game. Gillingham's star striker, Dragatan Oman, out suspended for this one. Getting a red card in the Sunderland game. But there is Leicester ready to go. Rivero's going to be key. This will be a very interesting game. Here we go then. It's the away team, Leicester, to start this one. It's a top of the table clash in the championship. Both of these teams vying for a place in the Premier League next season. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens in this one as Dewsbury Hall brings the ball forward. McAteer is just uh, held up well and Rivero can bring this away. Feeds it in to Fujiwara early. Gillingham looking to start this game very well like they have done previously. But a good interception from Sumare stops that one in its tracks. Neil Mopay. Tries to come forward, out to the right-hand side towards McAteer, who's beaten his man this time. He's in the box, Jovanovic, great challenge. Although Dewsbury Hall has won that back straight away after some poor play from Cusick, but it's uh, a bit frantic at the moment, but Gillingham do manage to get this one away. Rivero in the midfield, gives it over to Marquez, just took a little bit of a touch too much. Dewsbury Hall takes over into Mopay, it's end-to-end, -end and really no rest by the moment. Oh, Marcella's hit the bar. A fantastic effort from range, and McNeil was beaten. We haven't said that this much, this too much this season. But that was a great effort there from the Leicester City striker. But Gilliam looking to go down the other end and see what they can do as Eduardo cuts in field. The defender falls for the little shimmy. Oh, Samari's there again. Great interception. Oh. And in an effort to try and win the ball back, Mercado dove into a tackle. I think it's going to be a yellow card. It is a yellow card. It was a little bit reckless from Eduardo Mercado, but yeah, free kick to Leicester deep in their own half. Dewsbury Hall looking for that ball through, but uh, Murphy with a very good interception there. Schneider turns his man really well and can run away with him, and he's got lots of space to run into here. Good run down the line, but Thomas, really good interception, and Leicester are proving to be by far and away the best team we've played this season. As uh, Pinto looks to just spread that ball out to Cusick. Lovely ball to find him. Fujiwara looking to turn inside of Montiel, but a really good tackle. Dewsbury Hall. McAteer holds on to it. Sumade into Belerdi. Belerdi to McAteer. McAteer on the wing there. Fujiwara, good tackle. Eduardo into Pinto. A little bit of space for Zhao, but really good interception. And that's... His, his defence is on top at the moment. It's Marcel, that man there, who's just laid the ball back to Thomas. His... His effort that rocketed off the bar is the main effort of this game so far. Both other, both teams have been nullified by good defences, and I think Eduardo's offside. He's not offside. Yes, he is offside. Damn it. Put your line up. Put your flag up quicker, linesman. Gray on the left-hand side. Got Jovanovic for company. Goes back to Thomas. That's a, a nice touch, but he's just overhit it a bit. Schneider just trying to play out from the back. Pinto out to Fujiwara, and there's not too much movement in front 
of the winger. Cusick back to Rivero. Rivero, oh, I saw a big crossfield pass on, but it was well blocked. Murphy gives it away, trying to find Fujiwara. And again, it's defence is on top in this one at the moment. Five minutes till half time. Samari brings it forward. Dewsbury Hall into Neil Mopay. Neil Mopay from range. Oh, that's not far wide. Rivero picks it up with a bit of space in the midfield. And he's got Cusick giving him a good overlap on that left-hand side. Cusick is there. Fujiwara goes down the line. Cusick picks him out really well. Fujiwara with a cutback. Great interception. And Zhao nearly got on the end of it. It's cleared away, half time, nil nil here at Priestfield between the top two in the championship. No changes at half time, but Scott Lloyd will be hoping his men can have a little bit more attacking impetus in this second half. Just to see if we can get back on the ball. That's Rivero picking out. I love doing those passes with him, they're so good. Eduardo, Pinto. There's an overlap again from Schneider, and he goes back to Pinto. Pinto onto Marquez, but he's just tackled at the last minute again. And the first half carries on into the second half with defences being on top more than attackers getting opportunities. Fujiwara has finally beaten his man for the first time in this game. Zhao getting the ball stuck under his feet but does have a free kick that he's won there. And uh, we're going to try and... It's too far out for a shot. So this one's going to go into feet and then we'll go back and try and work something. Eduardo out to Schneider. It's a good, a good effort from the set piece but Schneider... Trying a bit of skill that he's just not good at. And Leicester will look to break. Oh, I've dived into a tackle there that I didn't mean to do. Marcel comes forward. Oh, that's better from Schneider. Good tackle in there. Stopping Leicester on the halfway line. They've not really put too much together. It's going to be a free kick brought back for a late challenge. And Scott Lloyd's using the opportunity for substitutions. Mikado, Fujiwara and Pinto off. Zarins, Coleman and Dragovic on into uh, centre midfield for the Croatian. High hopes for the young... Croatian in that midfield. That's a good ball to the back post and Marcel with a great volley but didn't find the target and again you can argue defences stay on top. Now Murphy's going to bring the ball out from the back here. Minimal pressure on him from Leicester. Dragovic, good turn. Zhao holds it up and just, you sort of do feel like Gillingham are missing Oman in this one. Marquez, oh that's good feet from Marquez. The youngster shot it's blocked and Sumare showing good strength to hold him off. Leicester, get the ball wide to Gonzalo Montiel. Into McAteer. Montiel's there again. Murphy holds him up not once but twice. Does really well, Murphy. And Coleman can bring this one away. Marquez into Rivero. Rivero picks out Zhao. Is this the moment? Is this the, the game changer? Zhao gives it back to Rivero. Rivero's in on goal. What a save from Hermanson. The best chance of the game by far. And it's a fantastic stop from the Leicester City goalkeeper to keep it at 0-0. Zarin's into Zhao, who is getting more into the game. Zhao comes forward with it. Lots of space. Zhao with a shot. Zhao scores on that left foot. What a goal from the young striker. Come on. What a hit from Zhao. Absolutely loving it. The home fans adore him. He is superb. The number 13 for Gillingham. Maybe that shirt number will change next year. Who knows? But what a hit from a long way out. Just on the edge of the box, I think it was. But a good turn opened up the space for him. And then, yeah, just at the edge of the box, 17 metres out. Lovely finish. And Hermanson had made a good save before. Couldn't keep that one out. So the league leaders find themselves 1-0 behind in this game. And, uh, and as the home team, Gillingham, you'd expect them to do everything they can to hold on to this lead. Leicester City are going to try and still come down the wings, which has served them reasonably well in the game. Jovanovic, great interception. Just managed to sort his feet out as well and get the ball away. Dragovic into Rivero. Looks for that cross-field pass, and Rivero's picked it out wonderfully. Zarins is in the box. Zarins, lovely footwork into Zhao. That's two. Great pass from Rivero. Zarins hold it up and Zhao makes it 2-0 Gillingham. And with eight minutes to go, you fancy the League One champions to hold on to this, this result. What a result. And what I love about Zhao, he's wearing the boots that I wear in real life. Um, but Zarins, lovely footwork from the youngster into Zhao. And then just smashes it past Hermanson. No chance for the goalkeeper. 2-0 Gillingham. Ball in. Here's Gray winding up a big shot and it's bounced over McNeil's arm. And into the goal, 2-1. This game isn't done yet. A fantastic shot from uh, from Gay. And he just rifles this one. 0.08 expected goals, but that means nothing when you hit it like that. 105 miles an hour. 
hit quicker than McAteer, uh, McAteer, than McNeil could react. 2-1. Zarin's wins a free kick off the uh, off the kickoff. Uh, but it's deep in our own half. I don't know why we've got Murphy up there. But Schneider takes over, swings in a cross. And uh, we're looking for trying something a little bit different with that set piece. Didn't really work. Gay is there into Dewsbury Hall. Dewsbury Hall has got runners in front of him. Holds it up. Finds Neil Mopay. Neil Mopay goes down the line. Great turn from Monty All and Cusick's trying to get there. Cusick does really well. That's a very bad pass, though. And what are Gillingham doing here? McNeil just sort of pokes it away. And it's, well, it's worked out all right for now. And it is 2-1 to Gillingham full time. That is a massive result. The gap at the top of the table is two points. So as we go into the game against a Watford, you can see there two points is the difference now. Fulham are on 50, we're on 52, and Leicester are on 54. Everyone played the same amount of games, and uh, that is absolutely massive for us. Watford climbed to sixth after winning their last game 2-0. But uh, anything for a bit of TV coverage, we're playing on Christmas Day. It's Gillingham away at London-based Watford, uh, who are going to be playing a Gagan pressing style. Oman is back from his suspension. Uh, so I think we're going to go with that. Although we may give... Zarin's had a really good game coming off the bench. And did Dragovic. So we're going to start those two in this one. Zhao a little bit tired. So he goes to the bench. Here we are then at Vicarage Road. The home of Watford. And, well, sixth place Watford. It is there on a bit of a charge at the moment. Winning their last game 2-0. They are taking on Gillingham in this one. Who have, well, lots of good form. Beating the league leaders Leicester 2-1 in their previous game. But the key aspect of this game is speedy Alan Hutton. Alan Hutton? I can't remember his first name. But Hutton from Gillingham is playing for Watford on the right-hand side. So it'll be very, there he is, number 30 at the bottom of the screen. That is Hutton. It might be Ryan Hutton that we sold to Watford quite a while ago. But Fujiwara is back in the team in Gillingham. And he's, well, going on his own at the moment. It's a lovely little jinking run to keep the ball from kickoff. But uh, Marquez is there. Just overruns it a little bit. And uh, Watford get their first possession of the game. No, they don't because we win it back straight away. Marquez into Zarin. Zarin's is in. Zarin's is there. Oh, what a save from Claudio in goal. Though it's bouncing around. Zarin keeps it alive. Rivero, top corner. What a start. I don't know what happened there, but what a finish from Rivero that is. It's a lovely goal. 1-0 to Gillingham, the away team. He celebrates with the crowd. And he is very much a fan favourite, Rivero. Both in-game and in the comment section. It was bouncing around. Zarin's did really well to keep it alive. And Rivero just powers it into that top corner. It's a lovely, lovely finish from Rivero. And yeah, just, just no one's getting in the way of that. Right in top bins as well. 1-0 Gillingham. Here is Hutton against his former club. Running down the right-hand side. We know he has got a very good burst of pace. As uh, Ioza takes over. Or Lauza takes over. Back into Hutton. He would love to score against just Gillingham team. He's, he knows he's missed out on all the glory they've had coming up the leagues. It bounces around and into McNeil's arms. And he can look to get his team on the move again. Murphy. That's a good ball out wide to Zarin. Who I'm liking the feel of in this game, to be honest. Schneider. Oman has got acres of space. Oman has got Rivero. And Rivero's in for another one. Rivero! Oh my god, he's put it wide. On his favoured left foot, he's got to be scoring that. It's basically a penalty, and he's put it wide. A terrible finish from Rivero. Marquez comes forward with it, up to Oman. Oman with a good first touch to get that out of his feet, and he's still going, Dragatan Oman. Good defending, though, from Watford, just to catch up with him and win that ball back as uh, Rivero. Rivero's everywhere in this game at the moment. 20 minutes gone, 1-0 Gillingham, and uh, Watford... Struggling to really get out of their own half. Is that Imeric Laporte they've got at centre back? That is incredible. As uh, Le Pennant goes to Nagakia. Nagakia misses out Laporte and goes to Porteous. Porteous looks to bring it out from the back to Le Pennant again. How he goes to Hutton. He's there. There's that burst of pace that we know Hutton has. Swings in across Jovanovic with a good defensive header to mop that one up as Dragovic can bring it forward. Looks square to Marquez. Marquez. Looks to miss out Oman. Morris, good interception. Kayembe comes forward. Ayoza into Hutado. Oh, that's a lovely. I wasn't expecting that pass. Terrible finish from Lauza. Over the bar and the Watford fans are distraught with that one. That was absolutely awful. Nearly as bad as Rivero's one. Fujiwa, Rivero made that really good run uh, again there, Rivero. And he looks to dink it into Oman's path, but couldn't quite get it right. And uh, here comes Hutton again. We've got to be wary of that pace. Hutado, good turn. Running down the right... 
hand side. Murphy for company. And uh, Hurtado feels better of trying to beat his man. And Murphy's still chasing this ball down, trying to win it back. Hurtado on it again. Gets to the byline. What's he going to do here? Cuts it back to Nagakia. Nagakia has a man on the edge, which is Morris. Easy save for McNeil, that one. The shot lacked ferocity, really. It was a bit tame. There's a... Uh, oh, ah, Marquez. I keep turning into trouble with you, don't I, mate? Lauza into Hurtado. Good turn. Murphy was well placed. Although it's a good win from Kembe. McNeil's there. Oh, it's bouncing around. Hutton. It's got to be. Oh, Jovanovic just got up in time and clears it and finds Fujiwara with the clearance as well. Could have been... A dreamland for Hutton scoring against his former club with an easy goal like that. McNeil doesn't normally spill shots, but he did that time as Le Pennant is now in the box. Squares this one. Hurtado. Murphy with a good challenge does well. Rivero looks to get this one away. Marquez. Oman is one-on-one -on -one with his man. Oh, great tackle from Porteous. Half time then. Gillingham have the lead 1-0. A bit of a fortuitous goal, but Alan Hutton, or it's not Alan Hutton, he plays for Everton. Uh, Hutton could have scored against his former club. A really, really good effort. Luke Hutton. It's Luke Hutton. And the second half gets underway. And uh, Luke Hutton will be ruining that chance that he missed towards the end of the first half. Because that would have made it 1-1. And probably changed the manager team talks as they got into the second half. But here is Luke Hutton showing his pace. It's a lovely through ball to find Hurtado. Jovanovic is in the right place at the right time to get a block on it. Pennant is there. Cusick with a good tackle. And uh, now it can go forward to Fujiwara. And there is a big switch on here. But he's not quite got the... Uh, through ball style of Rivero, Rivero so it didn't quite work out how I wanted it to. Marquez, here is Rivero on the ball now. Fujiwara just delaying his run. He was really trying to stay on side but Nagakia defended it well and uh, oh Cusick, that will do. A little bit of a shoulder barge to win that one back. We love to see that. Murphy, that's a good ball out. Murphy, oh Zarin's lovely touch to bring that one down. Zarin's has some time and space to try and pick someone out. Laporte with a header away. Well controlled by Dragovic and Morris nicks it off his toes as he was about to unleash a rocket. Kembe out left to Barr. Barr goes down the line and picks out Morris. Morris, nice little pass into Kembe, but he couldn't get that one through. Oman comes forward with it. Skips out Rivero and finds Cusick. Cusick goes into Marquez. Oman still going forward. He's battling his way through Oman and he's picked out Zarin's. The youngster was offside. So a change for Watford has been made and Gillingham are going to make some changes as well. Zarin's Fujiwara and Dragovic off. Pinto, Mercado and Coleman on. Ball through. Here is Le Pennant. Good shot. Good block from Murphy as well. He did well and Cusick can't quite keep it in. 65 minutes gone. Gillingham still 1-0 up. But Watford certainly getting back into this game. Cusick with some good pressure again. See there, we have a 68% probability of winning the game, having because given that we are 1 0 up and there's about 20 minutes to go. The betting companies are betting in our favour at the moment as uh, Laporte goes back to Nagakia. Nagakia into Le Pennant. Here is Porteous into Kembe. This is good football from, from Watford here. Lowell is a ball. Murphy again just stands tall and does well, and Coleman plays a good one to Riv Rivero. Coleman into Oman, and Oman has got Porteous for company. He's got to come across and track him, and Marquez is in. What a save from Claudio again. So Scott Lloyd turns to his bench, and Zhao is coming on for Dragutan Oman up front. A bit of a difference. Fresh legs. Let's see what the youngster can do. As uh, We're going to have a corner here. See if we can chip this one in. Looking for Jovanovic at the back post, headed back across, but Laporte is there. To get it away. Murphy, the centre-back. Murphy, the centre-back. Oh, my God. What a hit. Claudio, another good save. Murphy denied what would be a very uh, good goal from his for his collection. As that's a ball into Ward. Zhao. Hutton heads it away. Murphy keeps this one alive. Coleman. Rivero. Good turn and gets into a bit of space. Rivero tries to just dink it across. But Claudio reads it well. Just over 10 minutes to go. Still, Gillingham 1. Watford 0. Some good football from Watford as... Open up some space for Kembe. Kembe does swing in across. Cusick, not the best clearance. And it's bouncing around. We're try can't get it out. McNeil can't stop the powerful shot. Awful defending from Gillingham. Someone just needed to put their foot through it. And Hurtado makes it 1-1. We had chances just to clear it away. But yeah, Hurtado, good finish. McNeil probably should do better. But uh, from that range with that power, I'm not really going to blame him. So 1-1 in this game now. As Marquez takes the ball from kickoff, and there is seven minutes to go. And, uh, well, Scott Lloyd will be hoping that 
bringing Zhao on, who's a bit of a masterstroke. Cusick into Coleman. Coleman into Zhao. Zhao shoots. It is a masterstroke. It's 2-1. And Zhao goes crazy in front of the Watford fans. 2-1 to Gillingham. An instant reply. And Coleman to Zhao. And a lovely finish. He is so good in that area from his left foot. Awesome stuff. The Watford players are distraught. 2-1 Gillingham. The away fans are going nuts. They absolutely love it. Cusick into Coleman. Coleman ball through to Zhao. First time on that left foot across the goalkeeper. 2-1 to Gillingham. You just love to see it. Lovely finish. Great goal. So into the final few minutes. Throw into Watford. He picks out Le Pennant. They are throwing a few more bodies forward in this. Here is Luke Hutton. Well done Cusick for Hutton. Managed to bundle his way through and get round the challenger. Murphy McNeil with a save. Jovanovic, I've tried to clear it. McNeil with another save again. And then Schneider just clears his lines and gets it away. Because Gillingham are coming under a lot of pressure here. Loosa holds off the challenge. Puts that one through. Lependent into Hutton. He's offside. He went too quickly. And that is full time as well. 2-1 Gillingham. A massive three points. we we'll have to wait and see what happened in the Leicester game. So Leicester did pick up a win as well. Still keeping that two-point gap at the top of the table. Uh, a goal-winning margin by two goals. They go one goal difference ahead of us. But we're in a great position heading into the second half of the season. Uh, Oman is not looking the most fit. So let's just go and check out our, uh, our training plans. Make sure Oman is on the right one. He is on the right one. Yep, yeah, everyone in the first team is on the right one. Everyone in here, I think, is on the right one as well. So... Let's just make sure, apply for all subs and reserves. And uh, yes, there we go. So a quick check-in with the Youth Academy, because we have a couple of call-ups that have been added to the ranks. So if we go through, let's go through overalls. Look at overall. Uh, we've got Kool in there as a centre-back at 66. Lopez is the new there from Ecuador. Uh, Jiang, the goalkeeper. Yilmaz, a centre-back. Uh, Kaya up there from Turkey. Moya from Venezuela. Yildiz from Turkey as well. Wilkes from England. Uh, we've got Curlis from Latvia. Yalnis from Latvia. Two Latvian goalkeepers. Uh, you're probably not as good as the other one, so we'll release you. Uh, Yeboah from Ghana as a centre-back or right-back. Uh, Lee from China as well. Hamdan from Saudi Arabia. And that is it for the youth intake at the moment. We're going to see how people regress. Kaya can probably be binned off. He's probably not the best. Um, and we'll go from there. Obviously, it's quite tough for promoted players to now get into the first team, given how good our first team is. But there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Please do leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.